Hello, my name is Lindsay and I work in the Recording Arts and Services Department here at CIM. Today I'm going to show you how to import and edit your audition video using iMovie. Step 1. Open iMovie on your computer. I have it on my dock, so I will click once to open the application. If you do not have iMovie in your dock, it is accessible through your Applications folder. From the Applications folder, double-click to open. iMovie is pre-installed on all new Macs, but if you do not have it, you can purchase it from the App Store for $4.99. Step 2 is to create a new event. Click File, New Event, and a field will open with today's date in your iMovie library. You'll want to rename it something descriptive, like CIM Audition Videos. Once you've named your event, you can import your footage. Make sure that you still have CIM Audition Videos selected before continuing. Step 3. Plug the small end of a USB cable into your camera, and then the other end into your computer. Turn on the camera. If you are using your iPhone or iPad, you'll plug it into your computer in the same fashion. The camera may prompt you to switch into a USB Connect mode or PC mode. I will select PC mode on my camera. Alternatively, if your computer has an SD card slot, you can insert the card directly into your computer, or you can use an SD card reader and insert it via USB. Step 4. Import your footage. In some cases, the import window may pop up automatically when you plug in your camera. If it does not, click on the import button at the top of the window. Once the import window is open, we recommend that you import all clips. That way your footage is all transferred. Once your video has been imported, a box may appear in the upper right hand corner telling you that you can eject your camera. At this point, go ahead and click Eject, then unplug your camera. The default view is to show one thumbnail per five seconds of recording. It is easier to find the take that you need if you zoom out to show one thumbnail per video that you recorded. Once your footage has been imported, you'll want to create a new movie by clicking on the New button, which is next to the Import button. Click once and select Movie. A window will appear asking you to choose a theme. For the purposes of an audition video, we recommend that you choose No Theme. Please keep in mind that this is your first impression on your potential teachers, and while comic book might seem fun, it's not professional. Once you've made your selection, click on Create. You will then be asked to name your movie. Let's begin with the Bach piece. I will name this Bach D minor Gigue. Make sure that the movie is being saved to the proper event, which is CIM Audition Videos, before clicking OK. Now that your footage has been imported and we've created a new movie, let's discuss editing. You'll want to watch through your footage to choose the best takes. Once you have chosen them, it may be helpful to mark them as a favorite by control clicking or right clicking and selecting Favorite from the drop down menu. A green line will appear at the top of your favorited clip. Drag your chosen take to the timeline below. You can use the space bar to start or stop playback. Place your cursor at the beginning of the footage and move left or right to trim your video. Use the same technique to find the end of the footage. To give your video a more polished look, you can place a fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end. Fades are located in the bottom left hand corner in your content library under Transitions. Clicking once will bring up your transition options. We recommend dragging a cross dissolve to the beginning of your video and a fade to black to the end. Here's what the cross dissolve looks like at the beginning. And here is what the fade out at the end looks like. To get back to your video content, you can click on your event, CIM Audition Videos. 
If you feel that your audio is low, you can raise the volume by putting the cursor over the bottom blue portion of the clip. Click and drag up in order to increase your audio level. Be mindful and listen to the audio once you have increased the volume. You'll want to listen for distortion. If you hear distortion, pull the sound back down until it goes away. Once you are satisfied with your video, click the Share button in the upper right hand corner. You have a lot of options here. The one you will need for CIM's application is Share File. In this next dialog box, you'll have the option to rename your video, add a description, tags, and change the size. You will also see the length of the video and approximated file size. CIM uses Slate for our online applications. Their restriction is 5 gigabytes per video that you upload. You can see here that at 350 megabytes, we're well below the threshold. Under size, the default will be what iMovie feels is the most suitable for your video based upon the original footage. We have been recording in full 1920 by 1080 HD video, so that is the setting it chose for us. In the bottom left, a checkbox is marked by default, and that is fine. This will add your video to your iMovie theater. When you click Next, you can choose your file destination. Make sure that you know where you are saving your file. If we click on Theater, we can see the status of our new movie. By clicking Show, we can see the location where the file was saved. It is important to watch your exported video from start to finish to make sure that there are no technical glitches or errors before you submit. So that's it. You've edited your first audition video. Simply repeat these steps for each video you need to create. For additional information, visit the tutorials on the CIM YouTube channel. For more help with iMovie, visit the link below to visit the Apple website. Thank you for watching, and good luck with your audition.